Hello, King of Glory friends. Today is Wednesday of Holy Week, and I'm coming to you today with our devotional on the Wednesday of Holy Week. You may remember that the sermon during our Lent series, To the Finish, was on the plot to kill Jesus, and thinking about both Judas Iscariot and uh, those that paid Judas 30 pieces of silver to betray Jesus. So today I'd like to read a portion from Luke's Gospel, from Luke's account, Luke 22. So grab your Bible and open with me to Luke 22, and I'll read verses 1 through 6 in Jesus' name today. Now the Feast of Unleavened Bread drew near, which is called the Passover. And the chief priests and the scribes were seeking how to put him to death, for they feared the people. Then Satan entered into Judas, called Iscariot, who was of the number of the twelve. He went away and conferred with the chief priests and officers how he might betray him to them. And they were glad and agreed to give him money. So he consented and sought an opportunity to betray him to them in the absence of a crowd. So today I'm thinking of Judas Iscariot and how he was indeed uh, possessed by Satan. It says Satan entered him. And that's a scary thought. And, you know, as we think about demons and Satan and his activity, we know that uh, believers cannot be demon-possessed. They are oppressed by Satan and, and the devil and, and the demons. But unbelievers, those that have fallen into unbelief, can be possessed. And so we see an unbelieving heart that has chosen to reject Jesus. And so Satan enters into Judas Iscariot here in this moment, in that, that time of, of Holy Week. So a scary thought, but it was all part of the plan for Jesus to go to the cross. So we're thankful for that today. And, uh, and pray that the Lord encourages you even if you may feel oppressed, know that uh, Jesus is greater than Satan, uh, our great enemy. And so we worship Jesus today. Uh, and let me pray for you. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for your word. And we praise you for using uh, this horrible thing, this horrible unbelief, and turning to you, uh, turning away from you, uh, for using this to bring us to the to bring you Jesus to the cross. So thank you for that today. Bless my friends as they watch this video and encourage them in the faith as we walk along this holy week. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.